Okay, and welcome to the final installment, the final tutorial on parabolas. This time we're going to be learning how to convert the equation of a parabola from general form to standard form. Okay, so we'll flip over to our final example on the notes. This is a conic section that is in general form. We know that it's equal to zero and all of the terms are in order. If you notice, there's only one term that's being squared. There's only the x squared term. That's the big hint that this must be a parabola. And actually, we know that it must be a vertical parabola since the x term is being squared. So since this is a parabola, it's going to be um, the method of completing the square, but it's just a little little bit different from what we did with circles. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to group the terms um, together, the quadratic term and its linear term, and we're going to leave a space for a blank. All the other terms want to go on to the other side, so I'm going to subtract 8y and I'm going to subtract 25 to the other side, since they're not going to be on the side with the um, x's. So those will go away, so now we've got this equal to negative 8y minus 25. Okay, let's talk about completing the square again. We did this plenty of times with circles. The number that will complete the square here is 9, and the way we get the 9 is we take half of this 6 and we square it to get 9. Now, if we're going to add 9 to one side of our equation, again, we must account for it over here and add 9 to the other side of the equation, because this isn't a balanced equation. If we do something to one side, we have to do the same thing to the other side. Okay, so we completed the square, we made a perfect square trinomial, which in this case will factor into x minus 3 quantity squared. Over here, let's go ahead and get our like terms together, which is, are these numbers, negative 8, y, and negative 25 plus 9 is negative 16. One last thing to do over here, for this to be in standard form, we need to pull out our GCF. And that's as simple as just seeing what's the, the first coefficient we see, whether it's positive or negative. In this case, it is a negative. So what we are going to do is we're going to factor that negative 8 out of each of these two terms. And when we factor a negative 8 out of each of these two terms, we're going to be left with, from the first term, a positive y, and from the second term, a positive 2, because this was a negative 16, and we divided a negative 8 out. So that's what changed it to a positive. So our final standard form is x minus 3 quantity squared is equal to negative 8 times the quantity y plus 2. This is the objective of today's tutorial. So if you get that, then you can go ahead and stop. I am going to graph this one just for a, one last review of graphing. So here's our standard form, and I'm going to find my vertex first. My vertex is going to be 3, negative 2. I'll plot that 1, 2, 3, negative 2. There's my vertex. Let's go to my axis of symmetry. My axis of symmetry, in this case, since we're talking about a vertical parabola, my axis of symmetry is going to be a vertical line. So it'll be x equals 3, the value of h. You can dot that in if you want to. Let's find the focus. The focus is going to be an ordered pair, and it is the point that is exactly a units away. So I'm going to take my 4a equal to negative 8, and I'm, this time I'm going to find that a is a negative 2. You might understand that the negative 2 is going to force us to count downward to 2 units. So there's my focus, and this time we're going to be opening downward. That point is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, negative 4. So 3, negative 4. Let's find our directrix. Our directrix is the equation of a line. If we went two units below the vertex to find the focus, now we'll go two units above to find the point that's on my directrix. I'll dot that in, and it looks like our directrix again is the equation y equals zero, the equation of the x-axis. Let's find our points of symmetry. To find our points of symmetry, we need the value of 2a which is just doubling 1a, so we have negative 4. It doesn't really matter if it's negative 4 or positive 4. We know that we're going away from the focus, so we're going to count 4 units in each direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So those are the points 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, 7, negative 4. And this ordered pair is negative 1, negative 4. So we found the two points of symmetry. And finally, let's find our lattice rectum. <laughs> the lattice rectum is a distance. And again, we know that it's the number that comes right from our standard form, but it's always going to be the positive value of that number. So the lattice rectum is 8 units long. And we can count that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, let's go ahead and graph our parabola. Thank you very much for watching our tutorials. I'll see you in class so we can practice this material. Have a good one.